afternoon guys welcome back to the channel starting the vlog off a bit later today after having a cracking day in London yesterday if you've not seen the previous vlog me and a couple of friends went to the London Film and Comic Con at the Olympia definitely worth checking out um, but for now we're starting off with a little walk around Sheringham Park so come join us absolute gorgeous day and there's more hot weather on the way as well next week. If you've never been to Sheringham Park before, obviously it's a National Trust area, so if you've got a membership it's free. If not, it's £6.50 all day. And a really lovely place to bring a picnic, which we'll probably do a little bit later on in the summer, hopefully bring the family along, so that'll be nice. One of the things I really like about coming here is you can literally come here all year round because the main walking routes are all concrete paths and last time we came here it was well they've had a lot of rain and mist but you can still come and enjoy the walk. You've got all these little trails off left and right everywhere you go. Now approaching this cool little shepherd's hut type thing. Got a nice little view out here. Try and zoom in. Yeah, it could be. I was saying a bit earlier about all the little turn offs. Look at this one though. Sort of all magical and mystical. The far away tree. Super peaceful through here. Literally the only noise I can hear is the sound of crickets. Marzi's a little way ahead of me. It opens up through here to the lovely big hall. I think there's like a wedding venue as well. Views are absolutely stunning. Marza! Just have to be a bit careful of some of these cattle crossings. There are gates next to them, so you haven't got to try and attempt to cross over them. quick panoramic shot all the way around. Such a gorgeous day. The walk we normally do is about a two mile loop, so like I say, it's not too bad. Just want to do a big shout out to Em and Stu. Cheers for mentioning me in the channel. I hope you've got everything you were after in Tessie's. And here's the house. Absolute gorgeous building. I'd love to stay here. Imagine waking up the views you'd have on a morning. This is a lovely building attached to the side of it. Be a cracking place for a wedding venue. We're actually trying something new on this walk. We've never actually been this way. Gazebo viewing tower. Right, coming through the gate, we've got some signs here. Upper Sheringham, Weybourne Station, one mile, and then the coastal footpath which goes that way. I think Marzi wants to head towards Weybourne Station. I'm starting to feel a bit peckish having a curry tonight. Marzi forgot a hat, so she's rocking my baseball cap for a little while. I love days like today. This was totally unexpected. We are basically just sat in the garden, chilling and talking. And then it was a case of, oh, should we just go for a walk around Sheringham Park? And boom, here we are. And the weather in Norfolk has just been absolutely gorgeous this last couple of weeks. And like I say, it's meant to get even warmer next week. How you doing? 
enjoying the weather? Food good? We're now at Weybourne Heath. You can see the steam train in the background. This looks like off Harry Potter. Well, I jumped a little way in the video. We didn't actually make it to Weybourne Station. It was far too hot to be doing that walk today, but that's a, a future video. I'm just gonna make my way to this other lookout tower because I've not been up there in years. Last time we came, it was all shut due to COVID. So it'll be quite cool if it is actually open because uh, get some cracking views from up the top. Right, so there's the tower. Let's see if we can get to the top of it. Oh, the sun is proper beating down there. Just see it through the trees there. Oh, it looks like I can go up there. Quite narrow. Good job I'm a skinny lad. And we are at the top. where I just walk through. Don't know if George and Jane have visited Sheringham Park whilst on their travels this way. Definitely worth the visit. Oh, I enjoyed going up there. I think we're now gonna make our way back towards the car. Our two mile walk ended up being about three miles. But when the weather's like this, you just wanna be out in the sunshine. Well, we're nearly back at the car park. Got a little gift shop and courtyard cafe just here on the right. Right, well, that was a lovely walk around Sheringham Park. I think tomorrow we're gonna have a look around Felbrig. So we will see you there. Right, so we're now at Felbrig Hall. We just paid to do the house tour and the walled garden walk. I think it came to about 24 pound for both of us as we're non-members. So let's get inside. We're a few minutes early, so we're just waiting on the doors to open. So we'll have a quick browse around the side. Got another wedding venue over there. It's nice and shaded around here. People want to come to Felbrig without paying to do the house and walled garden tour. You can just walk around the grounds. Uh, it's five pound parking for the day. Right, we'll see you in the house. <laughs> Great hall. Love these cases. Oh, she's now making her way up the stairs. like the library. Apparently there's over 5,000 books in this library. Just left the library and we've seen this slipper bath to warm up in front of the fire. It's quite unusual. Lovely bedroom.
We're now making our way into the old kitchen. All right. It's quite the feast. Lovely views out into the estate. Right, so we're now entering the walled garden. The house was absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend checking that out. And this garden is looking absolutely stunning. I've not walked around here for about four years, so interesting to see how much everything's in bloom with this gorgeous weather. It's a lovely looking pond. I don't know if that's a fountain in the middle. Loads of lily pads. Gardens really are looking stunning, I have to say. <laughs> Lots of greenhouses here. I love the style of these. Whew. That, Just said um, to Marzi, these look unusual climbing up this wall. Apparently, we've got some in our garden. So that's the wall garden completed. We're now going to make our way to the cafe, and if it's not too busy, they have a drink and a slice of cake. Looks like they've got a little ice cream stand there as well. So this is the cafe. Looks like there's a few tables and chairs with brollies, but we certainly don't want to be sat in the full heat of the sun. I'll just walk in and we shall try and get seated. Well, they've got a little shop here as well. A load of plants and garden equipment outside. Let's have a look in the shop. The original denim kit. That's a quite interesting room. Feel the history. Marzi likes this. Well, unfortunately, there wasn't actually any tables available in the shade, and it's far too hot to be sat in the full sun. It was an absolute fantastic trip to Felbrick. Cheers, guys, for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.